Welcome friends, in this video I am going to give you a demo on how to run GitLab in a docker container. Prerequisite knowledge required basic understanding of Linux Windows operating system. Optional. Good to have knowledge in Docker. If you want to learn more about Docker, please watch my another video, Learn Docker from Scratch in my YouTube channel. What is GitLab and Docker? GitLab is a web-based DevOps lifecycle tool that provides a Git repository manager providing wiki, issue tracking, and CACD pipeline features. GitLab offers a location for online code storage and collaborative development of massive software projects. The repository includes version control to enable hosting different development chains and versions, allowing users to inspect previous code and roll back to it in the event of unforeseen problems. GitLab is a version control tool used in the software development process. Docker. Docker is a computer program that performs operating system level virtualization. It is also known as containerization. If you want to learn more about Docker, you can watch my another video, Learn Docker from Scratch. Okay, what we do during this session? We do installation of Docker engine, pull GitLab Docker image from Docker Hub, run Docker GitLab Docker container, create a sample project in GitLab, work with some Git command lines, take a backup of GitLab, restore backup, restore GitLab from the backup. This is the pictorial representation of what we do. We have host 01 which is a base machine running CentOS 7 and we install Docker engine in the in this base system and on top of that we install GitLab container and we access GitLab uh, from an external. Okay. Let's go to the documentation. These are the steps we are going to do. Okay. The first step is install and start Docker engine. I have my VM here. It says DC red release, which is CentOS 7.6. Okay. I have it here. Now let's install Docker Docker software. I have already installed to save time. Let's see. Okay, nothing to do, which means I have already installed this Docker package. Now I start Docker container, Docker service using systemctl start, and I enable Docker service and I check the status of docker service it's running okay from here you can see it's running okay now now what we do we do we look for a gitlab image in the docker hub okay this is the command docker search gitlab to search for a docker image there are a lot of uh, docker images i use the basic one from the docker hub what i'm going to do here is i'm pulling the gitlab docker image from docker hub okay i have already pulled this image to my local repository so it won't pull again let's check docker images I have this I have this already in my repos local repository okay no I already done this now I'm running the uh, docker uh, the GitLab docker container using this command this is the command I'm going to execute let's see docker run to run the command in detached mode which is uh, basically running in background and I'm giving a host name like GitLab hyphen 
sunil.simplylearn.com this is the host name i'm going to use and i'm publishing to 443 this is the internal port and i'm publishing to 443 again here 80 to 80 and 22 to 22 22 which means 22 is already listening in the server for my sshd see here 22 is already running so I cannot use that again so I'm using 2222 external external to the external world okay I'm publishing like this now I'm giving a name gitlab iPhone Sunil for this docker image and this option to start the docker start gitlab when across the reboots of the base machine even the base machine is uh, rebooted if we are not using this the gitlab will not be started when a base machine is rebooted it will not be automatically started we need to start manually so we use this option to do this in automated way here i am uh, mapping the volume of etc gitlab in the docker container to storage gitlab config in my host i am using the host devops one so in a i'm mapping the what i'm doing here is for docker container this is this directory will be mapped to the base machine of the the uh, directory of this this of the base machine okay and i'm mapping another directory which is var log gitlab to storage gitlab logs and i'm mapping var opt gitlab to storage gitlab data this would be easy if you want to take backup or we want to save uh, we can map this to a different file system or whatever okay and this is the image i'm going to uh, pull i have already pulled we have already pulled and i'm going to run okay let's execute this command okay uh, this has this has started running now let's check docker ps there is a container created here now to to start this docker con uh, this gitlab it will take a few minutes uh, like if you if you want to know what's happening inside the docker container we can use docker logs with the container id the hyphen f4 so this is what internally happening in the docker container of gitlab it's uh, actually running some cookbooks here and, uh, compiling cookbooks and we need to wait a few minutes to let it completed it's running i'm pausing the video to let it complete it might take a few minutes now it's creating all the tables in the database it's using postgresql inside gitlab okay the installation i'm checking the logs here and the, it looks like the installation is completed and let's go to let's check ip of this how we access this ip is this one and i'll try to put it here try to access the gitlab yeah it's uh and the installation is completed and for the first time it is asking for the new password for admin admin account okay, I'm giving some password change your password okay I changed my password now I try to log in with my password
okay i'm inside my gitlab as root login so that's what mm, here in the documentation yes we have accessed using instead of because it's not resolved resol open i use ip address and created password login with updated credentials and create a new project that's what i'm going to do i'm creating a new project inside my gitlab okay my first project project okay and um, uh, there are a few options there is a root my first project slug here project description is optional I'm not going to into deep here i will be making another video for only for gitlab uh, working on gitlab so this is for mainly for the administrators uh, uh, who will be um, able to install gitlab and configure gitlab take backup and those things i'm describing here okay I'm creating a project okay the rough thing that's uh, that is okay for now okay my first project i have created a project called my first project okay and how do i add my files here i'm going to use some command lines uh, because you should be familiar with uh, some of the command lines uh, in gitlab also so let's uh, let's see how we can access this repository from command line i'm using one of my host here which is the same host i'm using i don't have another host so i'm using the same host and work with uh, git command line i'm going to this session here first of all uh, we need to config a username for the repository okay and uh, the email id okay first because we have already created a project called uh, uh, my first project i'm going to that url uh, of my first project if you see here you can you can see what we need to what we need to do further okay it's asking for uh, git global setup these are the two things this is the same in the documentation okay these are the two things for the global setup and create a new repository if you want to create a new repository we can use this procedure if you want to um, upload an existing folder then this procedure and existing git repository then this procedure so i'm going to do uh, these things with a create new repository okay first i will execute this command devops my host machine okay this is completed I'm in this directory okay and git config now let's clone this repository that we have already created i need to use ip instead of this host name because this is not a resolvable i need to use this ip cloning my first project you appear to have a cloned empty directory yes this is an empty directory we know that okay i'm going to my first project okay i'm inside this directory now let's see i'm already inside this i'm creating a just a readme file in my repository now we are inside the direct inside the git repository and we are working on the git repository is in command in command line Okay, and uh, I will add something in the readme. This is my first first 
project okay okay that's all no no we this is the command to add this file add this file into mark this file as uh, we have added this file if you see here the git status okay th there's a new file which is added okay and here i'm committing this change that i have done i have created a, a readme file okay the one file change at insertion okay now let's push to uh, currently um, we are working in working locally right we are in the command line and we are working locally so once we have done all the changes we need to push it to our gitlab repository this is the command to do that it will ask for password i'm giving the password okay this is uh, okay we have pushed it to the gitlab our new project okay now if we refresh refresh this we'll be seeing this update these updates these commits and uh, the push okay this is the okay this is our now this is our first project that we have created and this is our readme file let's open this file and see what's inside okay this is my first project that's what that's that's we created okay i'll be i'll not be going into deep uh, for the git command line and uh, other stuffs in this tutorial i'll be preparing another tutorial for that uh, to work with uh, gitlab currently um uh, I what I want to do is how to run a GitLab in a Docker container and just do some basic operational administration stuffs. Now the one of the important thing that I'm going to discuss here is we are running this uh, in a Docker container and we need to have a solid backup of uh, GitLab repositories, GitLab configurations, and uh, we in case if something crashed or something is not working or someone deleted the files, we'll be able we should be able to restore it to the previous the correct state. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay. Okay. Uh, we we have another uh, backup option which is a full backup of the docker container itself i'm not going to discuss this uh, in this session i'll be maybe in the future i'll create a new video for that this is an online backup that is using uh, gitlab break okay this is a tool which is available in gitlab and what we are doing here is this is a command to start backup okay trigger backup i'm using docker exec command and uh, uh, to this this is my gitlab uh, container running and inside that container i'm executing gitlab break this command gitlab backup create this will create a backup under under this uh, sorry under this folder inside the docker okay we can copy it to somewhere else where we have a um, good redundant uh, uh, storage okay let's execute this command on my on our, here we have docker p if you see docker ps we have the docker image running okay here we we are running the gitlab docker image okay i'm executing this command okay it will take some time to create the backup it will be basically a tarball of the uh, configurations and repositories everything uh, what we need uh, to restore for the uh, gitlab okay let's wait for the commit execution let's see if you can see there are a lot of things running dumping the postgresql dumping out things that's all uh, it is doing some from here dumping database dumping uploads dumping builds dumping artifacts 
and yes, we have completed this uh, backup and if you want to schedule it you can schedule this command in a cron tab so you will have a regular backup of the gitlab gitlab okay and let's check whether our backup is available it will be it will be here executing this command i'm just executing what i'm executing is i'm executing on this docker container and executing this command ls of this directory let's see what yes we have a, a backup tar file created here with the timestamp of today yes it's today okay so we have the, the backup available now okay now uh, what we do we will restore it okay before that we need to know whether it has been successfully restored so what we do we delete this this repository okay okay the we delete one of the file we have created which is readme.me in my first project okay this is in my first project i'm going to delete this file and we will restore it from the backup deleting yes delete delete file okay currently it is uh, empty empty project empty repository so we lost one of the files so we need to restore it from the backup that's what we are going to do and okay we don't have anything now. okay so let's restore it from the backup so what we do is uh, the same command that we used here docker exe in interactive mode and uh, the docker container and uh, i'm executing it like break the same command instead of create it is restore and we mentioned the backup id okay that we will get it from the from this command okay let's let's check first the backup this is the backup command the, this is the backup we have created and we execute it break okay what we mentioned here is the id of this backup okay let's run this it will take a few minutes to restore okay this is asking for the confirmation of the restore i'm giving yes to restore it will restore it will clean up first and then do the restore let's wait for that It's restoring the repositories root my first project and it is asking for confirmation again for the keys authorized keys yeah. okay the restoration is completed let's check now our gitlab repository is fine Okay, this is our first project we have created already and we have deleted readme.md earlier. So we should have this now. Yes, we have this read readme.md and let's check the content also. Yes, this is what we created. Okay, and yes, we have successfully restored from the backup. Okay, that's all guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.